yeah, Ingrid has a question here about how um, when she sits down to write, it sometimes takes too long uh, and it messes up, you know, the rest of the day's schedule. Um, you know, this is one of the examples of how um, without a, a regular, if you haven't done a project regularly and you haven't timed yourself for the project, you might not realize how long it takes you. Now, when it comes to creative processes, the reality is that it can take as long as you allow it to take, right? It's like, it's like you know, in my, in my content creation class, I give people like a seven minute timer several times during the class to write, write an article in seven minutes, social media post. And people are constantly shocked by how they're able to write a social media post in seven minutes. And it's often much better than I could have done. I, George Cow, could have done it in seven minutes. Like you guys are, so I always say, you are a genius. You just need a timer. And that's, I've proven that to my clients again and again and again and again and again. So I want to encourage you, um, Ingrid, and everybody here, all of us who create, to set a timer. Like think about the creative process as having several stages. Um, and you can Google this. I have a blog post on this. Uh, play polish, promote, right? the three phases of creative uh, creativity, play, polish, promote, the creative process. Like the first phase, you're playing with ideas. You're just like, you don't care, you don't you brainstorm, you don't care about judging yourself, evaluating things, you just put it all out there, put it all on the page. Um, and then polish is where you reorder things, edit things down or up, uh, and you might add in things or whatever, polish. And then promote, you know, a piece of content isn't going to be helpful unless you promote it. You put it out to the places you know how to run ads, you run anyway. So, so you should probably set a timer for each of these. And over time, you'll realize how long of a timer you need for each of these. And even within the play phase, you might have sub stages. All right, the, I'm gonna set 10 minutes to play by literally free writing, you know, no judgment at all, completely, no grammar, you know. And then, oh, the second phase of, of play might be more like, but just on this one question, what are all the ideas I can come up with? You know, so it's like setting smaller timers helps you to boundary your creative process such that uh, you become more accustomed to to these phases of creation over time, and therefore be able to time yourself better so that it doesn't eat into so much of your day. So I hope this helps. 